Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1408, string matching in array. This is an easy level problem on Lead Code, and we're going to solve it in JavaScript. So the prop is we're giving an array of string, an array of strings here, and we want to return all the strings in words, this input, which is a substring of any other word in any order. So for this one, we have this array of words, and we can see ass is in mass. So we return as hero is within subhero, so we turn hero, and none of that is within anything else. So that's all we return. So what we need to do first, since it's asking us to return an array, we create a, a new variable for this. So first thing, create output array, and that's gonna hold the output we need. Next one, so we're gonna to have to loop through this, but we know that the order matters. So we don't wanna repeat, like mass can't be an ass, but ass can be a mass. So we wanna sort it from ascending length. Sort words to ascending length. So now we got that, we can loop through words. And inside of this, we have to create a nested loop. So, so we can pair this word to the other words. Okay, and inside of this nested loop, we will have a we will check if check create condition if the current word is in in the nested word. So we know that so it'll be in order for the small word, it'll be in the bigger word. And if it is, we will have to push current word to output. And then we don't want to get any repeat of it so we can break. And then after that, we return output. Okay, so let's get started. Let output equals empty array. And now we sort the words. So words dot sort A and B from length a dot length minus b dot length. Okay, so we got this word sorted out. Now we do the loop. No, we don't need this. Or let i equals zero, i is less than words dot length, i plus plus. And now inside of that, we do the second loop for let j equals i plus one. j is less than words dot length, j plus plus. And now we have to check if it's inside of each other. So if the second word, the nested word, words dot j dot includes words index i, we know we have to push it, output dot push words index i, and we don't want any repeats, so we break. And that, at the end of this, we return output. Okay, great, now let's check. Nice. Yeah, so we got it. So the complexities, Since we're doing a nested loop, we have to do O of n squared. And the space complexity. We know that we are creating an output array that is going to be big as the words. So it's going to be O of n. And that is how you solve this problem. Thank you.